welcome back today we'll we'll study about the human eye human eye is a complex optical device created by nature nature it helps us to see things distinguish color size and perceive the depth and today we'll study about the different parts of human eye first we'll learn the structure of human eye human eye is held in position by muscle it is wrapped in three layer tissue we know that we can see with our eyes this help us to distinguish the color the texture and we can perceive through it the first you can see the cornea iris pupil through which light enter and we have the lens and ciliary muscle which control the lens this ciliary muscle control so that we can see nearby object and we can see far off object it is due to the ciliary muscle our eye can see when it's far off object and when it's nearby the ciliary muscle help in power of accommodation that means which we can see clearly nearby object and which we can see far off object and after that it sent to the brain from the brain it can distinguish what we saw because of that you can read the book and you can understand the book which is some distance when you read it it entered the eyes after that it goes to the brain and your brain can understand in this model we'll study about the different parts we can see things around us through the eyeball first part is cornea which is white and transparent through which the it reflect the light reflect the light means which light it allowed light to pass through and the second part is that iris iris determine the color of the eye because of that some have blue eyes some uh, have black because of this the color of the iris the color of human eyes are different from one person to another and the next we have pupils what is the function of this people it control the amount of light entering the pupils how much light is entering it control for example let's take an example here when you are playing outside it's very bright but as soon as you enter it become dark and your eye pupil it slowly adjust or when you are inside the dark room and if you go outside it is very bright and difficult to see slowly these pupils will control your pupil it will control how much light it will enter and the next is convex lens it is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edge and other what we call it converging lens through this it allowed the image formation in the retina when it form when the image is form in the retina and we can see it sometimes it does not form in the retina then we cannot see it clearly sometimes it form in front of the retina and sometimes behind the retina because the retina have nerve cell which is which consist of cones and rod cones are sensitive to light and rods are sensitive to dim light and it's sent to the optic nerve which after that 
two optic nerve it reads the brain and the brain can differentiate okay let's sum up cornea reflect the light it protect the eyes from accident it does not allow the foreign particle to enter iris determine the color of the eye it control the amount of light entering to the eye and the lens which help us to form the image at the retina and retina it consists of cone and rod and through after retina then the signal is sent through through optic nerve to the brain